Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I do have a, another review on a fragrance company. So today's review is Scent Split. Scent Split sent me a cute little box with eight samples. These fragrances are blind buys. I've never tried them before. I've never smelled them before. And I can say right now in the beginning of this video that I did really good at picking the ones that I wanted because I love them. Just to give you guys more information on the brand itself so they basically specialize in niche high-end fragrances at an affordable price which is really good especially if you've never tried the original fragrance that you're wanting to try out it does save you guys some money trying the samples instead of investing in the original bottle just in case you don't like it especially if you're blind buying it you do lose a lot of money especially if you don't like it so sampling is a major service that Sensefoot offers and they have several samples this is the smallest one that they have and it just goes up from there to the original bottle so let's go ahead and get started so i can show you guys which ones i got what they smell like who they're by and all of the notes i do have eight scents that we're gonna go through really excited because i think they smell amazing and they're so potent to the point where it could just be sitting on my desk up here and i could smell them every time i pass by or if i enter my room they're so potent very strong but they smell good they're all like I want to say very feminine and then some are on like the unisex masculine side so the first fragrance we're gonna jump into is vanilla by theodorus calotonis this one is your gourmet vanilla cupcake summertime fragrance in my opinion the notes are caramel vanilla patchouli sweet woody balsamic warm spicy earthy and powdery i think it smells very good definitely smell the vanilla that's the first thing you smell the only thing i don't like about these is it's like a little corkscrew so it is very difficult to open and then it has like a little spatula that comes off do you guys see that so this one i can say is like a cupcake a sweet sugary vanilla powdery cupcake that's the best it's gonna get i think it smells very very good i wouldn't mind getting the bigger bottle this is a great blind buy if you've never tried it i tried to go with like the safest scents in my opinion so i did want to go with like more gourmet floral citrus stuff just because i've never tried them i just went with the name vanilla that's exactly what it smells like vanilla sugary strong ass cupcake i love that one i give this one like a nine I like it. So the next scent is Plum Rose. I don't think the name necessarily explains what the perfume smells like. So the main accords are fruity, rose, sweet, warm, and ozonic. Rose is definitely in here. It is like strong, like more like rosy, like fruity, but like more like rosy and I'm not really a fan of rose. Definitely more feminine, more uh, mature fragrance. This one's okay. I don't really know what the dry down smells like, but from like the first sniff of it, it kind of is very strong for my nose. I can smell the rose, not really fruity. doesn't really smell like citrusy or like fruity, like in that sense, in my opinion. Plum Rose, I actually rate like a seven. I give it a seven. The next one is a fragrance that everyone probably already knows and knows what it smells like. So this one is the viral Delina Parfums de Marley. Parfums de Marley. I'm trying to like pronounce them <laughs> as good as I can. Rose, floral, fruity, fresh, musky, green, aromatic, powdery, tropical, and woody. In my opinion, when I first smelled it, I'm like, why is this popular? Like, why does everybody like it? I didn't understand at first, but now that like I've been smelling it over the weeks, I like it. It's very floral. I do smell rose in it. It has that fresh scent to it. I think this is a great blind buy. It's like more fruity. Oh, I like it. This one I haven't yet tried on my wrists or anything. I've just only opened it to smell it, but I really like this one. I give this one like a nine and a half this one is malibu party in the bay simon andreoli citrus sweet coconut woody green vanilla rum conifer lacatonic and tropical i did my research and got many reviews and opinions on all of these fragrances went through the notes oh i like this one so this one is very different in my opinion compared to several other ones that i've 
ever tried so this one is very citrusy so if you like lemon pie like lemon cake or anything citrusy i think this one is a good blind buy like the first note is very citrusy you can smell the lime in it and then it gets cozy sweet like sweet sugary so the citrus and the sweet i feel like they complement each other very well i think that smells very good like a citrus lemon essential oil that you smell and then it gets covered by like that sweetness sugary vanilla the mix of coconut those notes i think it's really good so i would rate it like an eight so this one is also a gourmet vanilla this one is polier vanille by la tarjan perfumer so the notes are aromatic Citrus, fresh, spicy, green, herbal, fresh, and woody. It smells like a vanilla and then it has like a citrus, fresh, green scent to it. Very herbally, fresh. I don't mind this at all. I think this one's really good too. I like to keep it up there because it's not a bad perfume, but I think it's very... If you want to smell fresh, green, citrusy, I think this one is a go-to. I can't really smell it. I think I'm getting like nose blind need to get coffee no this one is fresh i like this one i think it's very clean i give it like a eight and a half the next one i have is scent of paradise by algebra okay so let's see mm, this one is my best this one is the best one i like this one i think it's one of the best ones that i got i like the fruitiness and i like the citrus combined so the main accords are citrus, fruity, powdery, musky, iris, rose, sweet, fresh, spicy, woody, and floral. I like the combination of all of those notes. Mm, I can't really give you guys any dupes to these or like compare them to other fragrances because I haven't tried a lot of fragrances and all I can say is you guys can trust me on if a fragrance smells good or if it doesn't. I hope you guys can trust me on this. I like it. Um, I recommend sampling it first before investing in the big bottle. I think it's very floral, citrusy, uh, musky. I like the sweet in there, the rose. I would give that one a nine and a half. So moving on to the second to last one. So this one is called Santal 33 by Lilavo. This one is very masculine. I thought this one was going to be like a unisex perfume it says it does it says it's for women and men but i think it's more towards masculine it honestly smells like leather like if you get into like a brand new a really good quality car it smells like leather like a leather jacket it has that woody powdery leather warm spicy and violet so those mix give you that masculine scent but this one people say it's good but I don't like that leather smell, in my opinion. I don't care for this one. Mm, I wouldn't really want my boyfriend to smell like leather either. I give this like a six. Yeah, six. Maybe even a five. Like, it's not harsh on the nose or anything. It's very light, but trust me, you can smell leather in that. I don't really like that as a fragrance for a girl or a guy. So the next and final scent we have is another gourmet fragrance. So this one is Salt and Caramel. So Salt Caramel by Shea and Blue. I don't have any type of like gourmet fragrances other than the ones that I just got in my perfume collection. I wanted to go for a gourmet edible fragrance that I have never tried before. This one reminds me of the, the Sol de Janeiro perfume. I think it's 71. The one that smells like caramel or like popcorn. This one kind of reminds me of it, but I think it smells so much better. I like the caramel and I like that salty mix combination in this. I think it's a summer fragrance. Caramel, sweet, salty, woody, marine, and vanilla. I think it's a really cute fragrance. I wouldn't personally invest in a huge bottle of this. I would probably get a sample of it. Maybe just a bigger size because it does smell good, but I don't really care for the fragrance. For me to smell like popcorn or like a caramel all the time, I think it draws people's attention when you smell like something that you can eat which is a bonus but i like the salt in it i like the salt and the mixture of caramel i think that's like my favorite about this um let me see what would i rate this i think i would rate this i like it i would rate it an eight yeah 
I'd rate it an 8. I think I did really good picking the fragrances. I'm very proud of myself because sometimes when I pick something that I've never ever tried before, I like hate it. And I'm really surprised that I liked these, even though I've never ever tried these in my life. I don't even know where you can get these to try in person. I think that is what is so great about uh, Scent Split, is that they offer like a huge collection of high-end fragrances, like luxury fragrances that you probably won't be able to see in person. Where I am, I doubt I could really find any of these fragrances in person. But if you're maybe in a different state, I'm maybe sure you can. Where I am, I can't. So Scent Split was a really good choice to try. And I'm so glad that I was able to pick eight fragrances because I think that gives you guys more knowledge on certain fragrances that you may, may not have heard of before before tuning in for today's video. If you guys are interested in buying anything from Scent Split, I will have the link to them and all of the names of all the fragrances that I talked about in this video down in the description box. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!